using the planetary scanner located in the central reference room. Brief instructions on using the scanner are found on the machine itself. There are also instructions on turning it on and off placed to the side. If the scanner is off and its light is out, make sure to turn it on first before you activate the computer software. To turn the scanner on, press and hold the start button until the light comes on. Be patient while the machine goes through the self-check sequence and ready to scan mirrors. If the computer screen is blank, tap it to activate the display on the desktop. Select all programs. Choose the kick scanning software at the top of the menu. After the kick program sets up, hit start. You have the option to name the file you're about to create. To do so, you can use the virtual keyboard. Place the item on the scanner bed, lining it up with the arrow. Press the scan button. The scan results will display on the screen. You can choose from a menu of options depending on the type of material you're scanning. More options are available in advanced mode. You can choose different aspects of the scanning format such as resolution or color. You can also adjust light and dark parts of the picture. Any foreign objects on the scanning table will interfere with the scan. Here is the same scan done without the foreign object present. To edit your scan, click on Details. Let's try cropping. Select an area button, delineate the desired area, finally hit the crop button. Now you have the option of deleting the uncropped image. When you are done scanning, click Continue. There are three options of saving your document. Copy to flash drive, copy to shared disk, email. For the first option, insert the flash drive into the USB slot in the upper right corner of the computer. If there is enough memory on your drive, the scan will be saved. The shared disk option sends the file to six computers adjacent to the scanner. Find the folder Book Scan Files on the desktop. It is usually in the upper left corner. There could be several scan folders there. Choose the one with the latest date. Select the folder titled Scan. If you name your directory earlier, the folder will bear that name. The folder will have your scans as separate files. You can now work with them further send them to a file storage server, etc. The third option is email. Bear in mind that email servers place limits on the size of the file you can send. Type in the recipient's address and press send.
you can finish by pressing end session or you can click on go back for more scanning if you have questions or need help using the scanner please turn to the staff of the Slavic Reference Service or the Information Desk.